Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Maha, Chakodash, Yahweh, which is the one only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. Inshallah, to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word and truth in sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as. The, the remnant all right and the reason why it's titled as the remnant is because not every single hebrew israelite is going to be saved only a remnant is going to be saved all right and you know pretty much you know you got a lot of jakes out there that think because they woken up into the truth they believe that they're the elect and no one knows who the elect is now we're hoping to be the elect we're the hopeful elect but we're not the elect and i want to say this too before i start this lesson just because you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. And just because you're in a camp, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. Because each and every one of us individually are working out our salvation to be that elect. You have to put works in. All right. That's the whole point and it's truth. We got to mainly have faith, but we got to put works in with that faith. Right. Because if you're just a Jake that's just sitting around and not doing nothing, then you're not working out your salvation. You're not. So, Lord, one is less edifying. This is Matthew 24, 31. It says, He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. Right. Because when you go to Deuteronomy 28 and 64, and when you go to James 1 and 1, the Israelites are scattered abroad from one end of the earth even onto the other. So, they're scattered abroad from one end of the earth to the other in the hands of these 17 heathen nations. All right, so the Lord, when he comes back, he's going to gather the elect of the nation of Israel that's scattered abroad because the Israelites are in captivity to these 17 heathen nations. And this is why, again, you know, you guys that's out there pushing the doctrine that we're already in a new covenant, you're going off because Yahweh Shai, he has to gather the elect to deliver the elect. And then they're going to be changed. All right, we got to be changed, right? That's when we're going to be given uh, immortality. Right. We're going to have perfect bodies and we're going to be the, we're going to be able to keep the laws hella perfectly. We can't keep the laws perfectly in these in these corrupt bodies. That's why we got to be changed. You know, as, as the scriptures say in um, first uh, Corinthians, the 15th chapter going from verse uh, 51 all the way down to 54. Right. So getting back to the main point, this is Matthew 24, 31. It says and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds again the israelites the elect i mean the israelites are scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth but when the lord come back he's going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth because the israelites are scattered all right the israelites are in captivity to the 17 heathen nations starting from esau first on down it says from one end of heaven to the other see so the, the elect is going to be gathered and they're going to be delivered they're going to be beamed up lord willing we are that number so, again, not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. And we're hoping to be that elect. Isaiah 10 and 22. For though thy people Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. See? So, not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. Again, just because you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. And just because you're in a camp, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. All right. Now we're the hopeful like we're hoping to be the elect. That's why we're doing works. You know, we're doing two to three videos every day. We setting up camp once a week. We're tuning into the live streams of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. We're taking notes. All right. We're being diligent to the best of our ability because, you know, we have a lot of things that get in the way in our personal lives. You know, we got work. We got kids. You know, we some of us as fathers, you know, we got jobs we got to attend to. You know, we got a lot of things you know, um, in our, uh, on our daily lives that we got to attend to, but through all of that, we're mainly staying obsessed with the truth. We're mainly doing the will of Yahweh Bashi Mashai, first and foremost. It says, yet a remnant of them shall return. 
it says the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Right. So not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. All right. Only a remnant is going to be saved. Only the elect, which we're hoping to be. It says Romans 9 and 27. It says Esaias also cried concerning Israel. It says, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. See, a remnant. Not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. All right, two-thirds of our people have to be put to death, according to Zechariah 13 and 8. Not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. That's why the Elders Apostle Great Millstone say, we don't give a damn about Israel. We only care about the elect, because not every single Israelite is walking in, in, this, in the same spirit. You got Israelites out there that's worldly, that have not repent, and that's not going to repent. So, you know, you got these other groups, they trying to save all Israel. Well, if you're trying to save all of Israel, then you're contradicting Zechariah 13 and 8. Because not every single Israelite is going to be saved. Only the elect is, you know. So we're not out here to save every single Israelite, because not every single Israelite is going to be saved. We just fishing for the elect, Lord willing. Lord willing, we are that elect because we don't know who the elect is. You know, we had individuals that had a stumbling block and they didn't get it. You know, they kept on saying they the elect because, you know, they believed they were the elect because, you know, they have the truth. That don't mean nothing. You had individuals that was, that came to the truth that was in the truth and the Lord took them out of the truth. They became bugged out. So, you know, this this is all mercy that, you know, you've been in this truth a year all the way to seven years, eight years. And up, you want to be thankful that the Lord kept you in the right spirit, in the right mind through all this time. Because there's a huge shifting going on, you know. And your lot may not to your may, your lot may not to be the elect. It might be to be a two third. You don't know. That's why you want to continually have a faith and ask the Lord to continually have mercy and to keep you in the in the ministry. Because you can you can wind up being a two third. You don't know what your lot is. None of us do. We have to play it out. So, you know, Lord willing, pray to the Lord, you know, we pray to the Lord that we are that elect, Lord willing. Isaiah 45 and 4, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, right? I have even called thee by thy name. It says, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, right? Because the Lord, you know, at one time we were bugged out, just perfectly paraphrasing. You know, we were in the world, but the Lord called us into this truth. So now that we're in the truth and we were called into the truth through the Lord's prophets, because the Lord speaks through his men. All right. Who are the elders and apostles of great millstone. We receive this understanding through the spirit. And now through the Lord's will, you know, he kept us in this truth. So, you know, we're once you come to this truth, you can't just I don't want to do it no more. You're supposed to still be on fire for this truth unto death. Because if you're not on fire in this truth, like Elder Apostle Rakan said, you got to be obsessed with this truth. If you're not obsessed with this truth, then you're probably not at the elect. You might just be a two third, you know, but, you know, I pray that, you know, you brothers that send this truth as well as myself, that we sustain and remain diligent until the very end. Lord willing, because we're in the last days. This is second Peter two and ten. Therefore, I, it says, therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain the salvation. Right which is in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach with eternal glory. And that's what we're fighting for. We're enduring through these afflictions. We're enduring through temptation. We're dealing with these spiritual attacks, etc. Right? Things on the carnal tip, the fleshly tip, the physical tip. Right? We're enduring through all this to receive what? Salvation. So again, now I keep saying this. I hate to keep saying this, but it's the truth. Just because you know you're, you're a Hebrew Israelite, that does not mean you're the elect. And just because you're in a camp, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. I'm going to keep on saying that because, you know, you got a lot of Jakes out here that really believe because they're in the truth. They know the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. They know the brace, They know the breakdowns, etc. They believe they the elect. Well, you, you don't know if you're the elect or not. All right. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect. We're hoping to be the elect. Because no one knows who the elect is. We're all working out our salvation individually. So you can you can be in a camp. That don't mean you're the elect, though. Second Peter 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. 
and how you make your calling and election sure. I said it earlier with diligence, you know, remaining in the truth, studying to show thyself approved, right? Tuning in to the live stream of the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, taking notes, right? Doing two to three videos every day because all of us ain't going to be able to do three videos every day, especially if you work in 56 hours, 48 hours a week. You know, you work in four eights and, and two twelves or you work in, you know, three eights and, and, and two twelves, you know, you but you still being diligent through all that, though. You know, you got to remain diligent to the best of your ability because it, it is challenging, man. It's easier said than done, but it is challenging. It says give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do do these things, you shall never fall. So you got to make your calling and election sure. How are you going to do that with diligence? Right. You're working out your salvation. You got to work out your salvation. Scripture is saying Philippians 2 and 12. Right. Now, it's more of my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you're supposed to be working out your salvation. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. It says they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Put their trust in him. Trust in who? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh We believe and have faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh all right, we trust in him. It says, and such as be faithful in the love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints who are the Israelites. It says and he have care for his elect and we're hoping to be that elect. The Lord has care for his elect and the Lord is going to deliver his elect. All right, we're hoping to be the elect, though, but we're, we're not we can't say we're the elect because we don't know. John fifteen sixteen it says, ye have not, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Right. The Lord has chosen you into the truth. You didn't choose the Lord. The Lord called you into this thing, each and every one of us individually, including myself. So we didn't choose the Lord. The Lord chose us into this thing and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, right? Establishing, doing the ministry. That's that fruit. And that your fruit should remain, right? Remaining diligent. Doing labors, right? Waking up the elect, fishing for the elect. It says that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, Yahweh Shai, his name in the name of Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is our mediator. No man cometh unto the Father but by him, John 14 and 6. It says, He may give it to you, right? So, you know, we're remaining diligent through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, we are that elect. Second address 8 and 1. It says, And he answered me, saying, the Most High have made this world for many. See, this world that we're in right now is made for many, right? But the world to come for few, right? So the world that's due to that's to come, which is the kingdom of heaven, that's the world to come, which we're hoping to receive, the kingdom. That's for few. That's only for the elect. That's not going to be for everybody. Now, this world that we're in right now is for everybody, but the world to come, which is the kingdom of heaven, that's going to be established for the elect, which we're hoping to be because the elect of the nation of Israel is going to rule. Because right now we got people ruling. We got heathens ruling over us. But that's about to stop in a little bit. That's going to stop soon. Matthew nineteen twenty eight. it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, right, when the Son of Man sit in the throne of his glory, he shall also sit upon the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is going into the elect, right? The elect. Yahweh Shai is going to be, the, the, Yahweh Shai is going to be judging as well as the, it says. It says the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Ye also shall sit on the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the elect. The elect is going to be doing that. The elect men, the 144,000 elect men, but you have the elect under that as well, right? So you have the elect men, the 144,000, and the elect under that, which is men, women, and children. But you're going to have the elect men judging. Lord willing, we are that number to be the elect. So this is, again, not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. This is what makes it a, 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 a challenge because you are. this is a spiritual battle between yourself. To be the elect. Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says before I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb. I sanctified thee. And I have ordained thee. 
a prophet unto the nations. And that's what the Lord did. The Lord already knew that we would be prophets. The Lord already knew that we would be teaching his word. Right? But we're laboring and working out our own salvation individually. Regardless if we're in a camp or not. Because you individually still got to work out your own salvation. Nobody can save you in this truth. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone can't save us in this truth. That's why we're working out our salvation. We're studying from those men. Right? We're learning from those men. And we're... we're, we're Remaining diligent, being diligent in this truth. We're establishing our uh, riches, right? We're working out our salvation with fear and trembling to be the elect. Because not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. Daniel 12 and 3. It says, and they, it says, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that shall, and they, like it, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And this is going to be a beautiful moment again because the Lord is is is, is going to only save the elect. Two-thirds are going to be destroyed according to Zechariah 13 and 8. And this is a this is a spiritual battle. It's a physical one, but it's a spiritual battle between yourself. You know, remaining in the truth until the very end. That's the challenge. Second Edges 6 and 25. It says, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Right? See? So that's going into the elect. They're going to be delivered, Lord willing. Because we're trying to endure to the very end. Because we know that this place called America is going to be destroyed. It says, And the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed, right? And turn into another meaning. Verse 27, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth, which have been seen so long without without fruit, shall be declared. Because this is going into, uh, let me get that out, man. We're going to be changed, right? The elect is. Let me get that out real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 15, and we're going to start at verse 51. Because I quoted this earlier. This is 1 Corinthians 15, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery which shall not all escape, but we shall all be changed. This is the elect. The elect is going to be beamed up going to 1 uh, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15 through 18. We're going to be, the elect is going to be beamed up and they're going to be changed into their perfect, into our perfect bodies, Lord willing, we're the elect. We're going to be changed into perfect bodies. We're going to be immortal. This is going into the elect, that remnant. Verse 2, verse 52, in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. So we're going to be changed in a twinkling of an eye. How fast you blink your eyes, that's how quick we're going to be changed. It says, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall rise first, right? It says, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, right? And we shall be changed, right? Because we're going to be incorruptible. We're going to go from corruptible, corruptible to incorruptible. We're going to have perfect bodies. Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, right? Because in these mortal bodies right now, we're corrupt. We sin all the time, right? We're constantly sinning. That's why we got to pray and ask the Lord for mercy. We got to repent every day. But when we're changed into incorrupt, we're going to be perfect. We're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. perfectly. We ain't going to sin. Ain't going to be no sinning if you're changed from corrupt to incorruptible. You ain't going to be able to sin. You're going to be, we're going to be super perfect. We're going to be able to keep all the laws perfectly then. It says, and this mortal, right? Because the word mortal means death, must put on immortality. We're going to, we're going to be unable to die. We're going to be unable to die. We're going to have immortality bodies. We're going to be indestructible. A bullet isn't even going to be able to do nothing to you once you're changed. This is that remnant. This is that elect. The elect is going to have these capabilities. Verse 54, it says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Because we ain't going to be able to die. We're going to have perfect bodies, man. We ain't going to be able to die. We're going to have perfect bodies. So, hey, Lord willingness, that's is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh.
which is the one true name of heavenly father yahweh shai who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ but his one only true name is yahweh shai double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone peace blessing salutations to the whole full elect and shalom to you sincere brothers scattered abroad pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity i am the brother mashiach arazaka from the servants of yahweh yahweh shai camp las vegas nevada branch and lord willis lessons edifying so hey again just because you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, that does not mean that you're the elect. Just be and just because you're in a camp, that doesn't mean that you're the elect. Only a remnant is going to be saved. Lord willing, we are that number. And Lord willing, that's what's edifying. Till next time, I say, Shalom.